your number four to make two good videos. So of in, the Crane Brothers. Of the Crane Brothers, yeah. yeah. Uh, in retrospect, or in looking at our last video, we found three problems that we need to fix. You like saying, like, like I, I said, said, I like saying, um, and we need to make sure that we focus the camera this time. Yeah, so we know that we can fix the like I said and the um issues, and our IT guy. We need to get this shot. Jill, write this down. I'm ready. <laughs> He's fixing the focus video, so we're going to get this all handled as we go. We're going to really make this nice. And we're going hit, to hit a little counter yep. so that we call ourselves out on the fact that we have pronunciation issues, as I can't even say pronunciate properly. Um, but we appreciate your feedback. If you find that we are repeating ourselves, hey, get it to us. Too. Yeah, we can build know. cranes. We can't speak very well, so. But we're working on it. But we're, we're working on it. We're going to get better on it, so. Um, but getting to something more serious, the American flag, like we hit on the first video, something that we have on our clothes. Got it here. You actually brought one this time that, that, that has it on there, and it's got it yeah, on our so, hat. So we got it there. But in looking at even the outside of our building, you know, it, it's prominent in our building, whether it be the flagpole, the giant flag that's behind us, or through all the cranes in the shop, and there's going to be a video that flashes a bunch of them as, as we go here. But, Plus, um, you'll see every time that we ship a crane out, there's a large American flag that's on them, because our strength, and we stressed on that, is we manufacture in the United States. So, not all our products are 100% made in the United States just because some products are not supplied, but we manufacture 100% at our facility that we are standing at today, right now. Yeah, there's nothing getting assembled in other countries nope. or things like that as far as the SEC made items. Um, and we're very proud of that. And, and the advantage of being in the town in Wisconsin that nobody can pronounce Waukesha um, is the other thing. Um, then another one that we make it here. Yeah, and so when we talk about that and you talk about the idea of how things, all the stuff coming up recently and how it's affected all of us, it's, I mean, it's hit us a little bit, of course, with the idea of some of our products, but, but knowing that it's just some of our supplied items are that, but has it slowed down our manufacturing? No, it has not, because once again, we build it here and we manufacture it here and we're going to stress that and you're going to continue to see that as you so we see more videos and you check out the other ones we have all throughout our facility. So the next step to the video here, where we're going to lead this next is we're going to go down to our 308 building to see our kit area to really talk about what that is and how we focused on a problem that we saw as a company to be better. So um, next step is to go down there, follow me down there and just remember, crane it. Welcome to SCC's kit area. A kit is defined as a single girder crane up to 60 feet long, uh, or at least that's what we can do down here. Uh, the idea behind this space was working on speeding up our lead times to meet our customers' needs uh, when they need it quickly. All right, we recognized that we had a problem where uh, delivery times was an issue. We were building kit cranes in areas where custom cranes were being built and wasn't keeping up with our customers' needs. So we needed to do a better job with that. So we invested quite a bit of money to make that a focus, and you are in that area right now. We have specific people that work in this area. Uh, they don't like to be on video, apparently, so you're stuck staring at us again. But we're good looking, so. Let's yeah, it works out, you know. So we'll drag them in at some point later. Right, Justine? Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. All right. I'm Justine. I work down here in the kit area. I primarily do the electrical. I'm shorter. It's closer to the ground. He's tall, so he deals with the higher up stuff the majority of the time. Um, focus on getting the electrical ran on them. Install the components that hold the electrical in place. Test it to make sure everything's working properly. You're up, big dude. <laughs> I'm Kyle. I do the fabricating and the paint down here in the kit area. And but the the kit a kit is defined as a package something from the distributor. Not package something. A package hoist control, end trucks, 
drives from a distributor to include the festooning. As far as our processes, we take and wrap the stuff up so when it's going down the road to the end place to the customer, it's not slapping around, things aren't bouncing, rubbing, um, just to make sure you get something good when it gets to you. If time allows, we've made a video completely of a crane being built beginning to end, um, showing some of the people down in the kit area. So we're going to focus on Ryan and I today because we're important, but beyond that too, if you actually want to see a crane being built, one of those other videos can also be watched. Yeah. Yeah. Check out uh, through the, our video library to find that kit video along with some of the other things that we do here at SEC. One thing we want to bring up is the idea of how we manufacture down here where we have specific people like Ryan had brought up earlier that work in this area. Those people are cross trained to do all the different process of that and it's once again it's to get the crane to the customer as fast as possible but keep in mind SEC quality didn't suffer because of this. It's just it's a streamlined process with the quality that's been expected when you purchase something from yeah, SEC. With people that are versatile too handle those tasks and have the ownership of seeing that project from start to finish, which on some of those bigger cranes is not a possibility. So they get to start it fresh from point of straightening the beam out all the way through to painting it up, putting the stickers on it and sending them out the door. We also give people the option if they want, where they want to, they have uh, distributors where they want to use specific for the kits or want to buy those components. We don't have issues with that either. We can put them together. Um, we don't have any, they said no problems with that either. So we identified that manufacturing is really one of our strong points and with the facility that we have, using the space as best we can to help people with their overhead lifting needs. So if anything, any needs, um, keep in mind if you do want to um, customize these kit cranes, the options are still there, it just extends the lead time a little bit. So. Our kit cranes are defined as purchase components. We will add radios if needed, but you want to get specific on cable reels and add a lot of other things. That is going to extend the lead time, but we are still more than capable of doing that also. The idea of the kit area was that from the time the kit gets here, we can have it out the door at most in three to four weeks is, is really what our target goal is. And we'd certainly like to have too many kits that we don't meet that goal. Um, but that's the idea is that quick turnaround and making sure we can get things out the door. On average, if it is a standard kit, um, we're doing five to seven kit cranes a week is what we're set up and capable of. As long as there's not delays in shipment where we have room to get them out the door and we're not dealing with storage, um, like I said, we can do quite a few in the course of a month. Mm -hmm. So they're not standing here looking pretty like this because the coronavirus decided to shut job sites down. So we're unfortunately storing things right now, but... Uh, but also working with our customers with, with customers, the storage. Yeah. So we are not a storage warehouse, but we understand that things change like with what came up, so we'll do our best. But uh, um, we appreciate everybody's time and listen to everything today. And Got anything else? No. Okay. No? Just remember, Crane did.